Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is uh, the book He's Redeeming Love. This is chapter 79, and this is called The Musings of a Mad Prophet. Um, the Musings of the Mad Prophet, uh, of a Mad Prophet, was a book that I uh, first published. I published, um, when I had about 80 articles, I chose uh, the first 67 articles, uh, to go into a book and um, I had a roommate uh, who was staying with me that provided me the money uh, to uh, pay for the publishing. Um, I had to pay for the editing of and the proofreading of the articles but uh, he paid for the um, publishing which was $500 which I was very helpful helped with and very thankful for. Um, it was called The Musings of a Mad Prophet because I was mad uh, for a person who believed that God was a judgmental God and an angry God of the Old Testament, a God that was never satisfied and uh, never really pleased uh, uh, in the Old Testament unless you were doing everything according to what he wanted. Um, I was a person who was confused and mixed up and didn't understand the true gospel of Jesus Christ and the grace that's uh, provided through the cross and the new covenant uh, spilling of the blood of Jesus. Um, so I was messed up and pretty angry and a lot of my articles reflected this idea that God was angry and Jesus was angry too and uh, he was angry at the Pharisees, I surmised, and I believed that Jesus was just as angry at the modern church because so many of the insults he levelled against the Pharisees of his day could be levelled against the modern church of this day. So many things are, are the same uh, that can be held to be true of the modern day church. It was the same that Jesus levelled at the Pharisees, so... I gathered uh, 67 of my articles and put them together in, uh, in uh, um, the first article that I wrote first in the book and then the 67th article that I, I wrote at, at the end. Somewhere in the editing process I lost one of the articles. Uh, I decided that um, I didn't agree with one of the articles that was in there. So I reduced it. Um, I originally started at 67 because I was born in 1967 and so 67 was a number that stood for my date of birth. And then when I reduced it by one number, I ended up with 66, which was uh, the same number of books in the Bible. Um, so I didn't design it to be that way. But that's what it ended up. Today, uh, not many people buy the musings of a mad prophet. Uh, not many people have bought it in the past and no one has written a review on the book. Although I did have uh, Sarah Moles, uh, who my friend I've talked about, I did have her father Paul Moles read the book and he was quite impressed with what I had to say in the book. Uh, he sat me down for half an hour and had a good talk to me and he wanted to know where I'd studied my theology and where I'd learnt my doctrines from. And uh, I said that I'd just picked them up uh, going to church and reading the Bible myself. He said he was very impressed and he'd read most of the articles in there. Uh, Paul is a very strong grace man and very strong preacher of the new covenant of grace. And so I'm sure that he was showing me a lot of grace in the way that he treated me and the way that he responded to my book because I know that many of the articles would have had a slant of legalism and the law and a mixture of law and grace in them and uh, many of the articles he wouldn't have agreed with uh, doctrinally um, but he showed me his love and acceptance and his grace in accepting the book and um, and saying that the book was good and it was a good work of mine. I should have got him to sign up at Amazon and write a review for me and that may have led to some more books. Today, uh, now, these days, I don't mention that book. I, I say that um, I've published two books, um, and when, which in actual fact I've published three, and uh, today I don't um, recognise... Uh, 
that book as one of the books I've published because I don't want people reading um, the old covenant teachings uh, and and the uh, um, legalism and the mixed grace message of the book. I, I prefer that people understand my new understanding of God and my new understanding of Jesus and his grace and that's picked up in the parables of Jesus made simple my second book and um, explained uh, in in a little dimension in my um, third book that uh, I put out which I'll talk about in the future so I was a mad prophet I was someone who was a fire breathing prophet of doom and gloom I believed in a tribulation and I believed that Christians weren't going to get raptured during the tribulation but we're going to suffer and uh, go through all sorts of hard times uh, with the beast being on the earth and uh, being threatened and killed and and uh, things like that I believed somewhat that we sort of deserved it and uh, that we were so wicked and so uh, into the flesh and so far from God's perfect will in the churches that we deserve to be judged by God and uh, I knew that uh, I was uh, doing a lot better than most Christians well that's what I believed and that's what a lot of people who preach holiness believe that they're doing a lot better they assume that they're holy um, I had uh, sin in my life uh, with uh, addictions to, to pornography and that caused me trouble but besides that I thought I was perfect. Um, I joke with people today that my only fault that I found in my life at the moment is that um, the only thing I need to do is lose weight and I'd be perfect and I sort of had that opinion years ago that uh, that uh, I, I was pretty perfect and blameless apart from that um, masturbation and um, pornography sin um, if you uh, glossed over that one I was pretty uh, good and uh, pretty perfect in God's sight and uh, so I had this high opinion of myself and this is expressed in the articles that uh, made uh, part of the book The Musings of the Mad Prophet I, I wouldn't even go back and read that book now. I think uh, the same as some actors won't watch a film that they've been in. Um, I'm personally embarrassed that I used to feel that way about certain subjects uh, in the Bible and, and God's grace and uh, his forgiveness. Um, I think that it'll be a testimony in the future for people to be able to get out what I used to say and what I used to believe and compare it to what I say now and what I believe now and it would be a testimony to the transformation that has taken place in my life. God bless.